At Summit Learning and Technology, we understand how important achieving certification can be to you. It is our goal to help you obtain your certification with guides and practice exams that have been specifically written to cover the official certification objectives published by Autodesk. Our practice exams are designed to simulate the questions you will experience when you take an official Autodesk exam. Let me show you how it works. In AutoCAD, I launch the learning browser and select the practice exam that I want to take. Before I start the exam, I am given some instructions on how to navigate the course and a list of the objectives that are covered. When I get to the first question, I can click hands-on mode to dock the learning browser on the side of the application screen. In the question, where it indicates I need to open a file, I can simply click the link provided and a new version of the dataset is downloaded and opened automatically. I perform the steps as instructed and enter the value into the answer field. Notice that when I click Submit, it tells me right away if I answered correctly or incorrectly. On the next question, rather than typing the value into the answer field, I can simply copy and paste from the command line. If I get stuck on a question or want to skip it and come back to it later, I can flag it. Notice that all the objectives are listed in the menu, so if I need to, I can skip to a specific question. When I answer a question, I am given two tries to answer it correctly, but if I still get the answer wrong, I can review some general feedback about the topic of the question. I can toggle between presentation mode and hands-on mode to view the content. When I get to the end of the exam, I am asked if I want to submit all the questions. At this point, I can go back and answer any that I have skipped. The scorecard, displayed at the end of the course, displays my score on the exam and lets me know if I passed. It also gives me a list of all the questions and indicates which ones I answered correctly or incorrectly. Each question can also be reviewed by clicking the question link. If I am taking the exam from within one of Summit's certification guides, there is also additional content for each of the questions that I answered incorrectly available on the menu. Notice that in this case, I missed the UCS question. So in the menu, I select the Use Coordinate System objective. Most objectives will contain a video and a step-by-step -step exercise you can follow. The exercises have links, similar to the exam questions, that will automatically download and open a new dataset file. Our courses cover objectives for both the certified user and the certified professional exams. Therefore, each objective will have icons that indicate which exam they are pertinent to. When there is additional reference information about a topic, you can click on the images to see additional information on that topic. Back to the scorecard, notice that you can retake the exam if necessary. Thank you for taking the time to let me show you how Summit can help you achieve your certification goals. For a full list of courses and practice exams, please visit our website at www.summitlt.com.